with Ducky Grows. Thanks for tuning in. So you've decided to grow with hydroponics. Great. Um, but if you're not going to use soil, what are you going to use to grow your plants in? So what I have here are my three favorite growing mediums. Um, so instead of soil, we need something else to put the plants in. And although you can use a lot of different things, I found with the systems that I use, these three are the best. And we're going to go over them real quick here, and then we're actually going to go over to the sink, and I'll show you because there is a little prep with each one of these mediums. But first, let's get started. Um, the most universal is probably Rockwell, and it comes in a package like this. You can get this at any hydroponic store. This is great even if you don't do hydroponics. Um, this is great for starting seeds. So I'll show you an up close picture in a minute. But basically, they're just little squares. Um, and rock wool is kind of what it sounds like. It is rock. Um, they use old scrap rock when they do mining and stuff, the leftover. They basically melt it and spin it like cotton candy. I'm not really a chemist, so I don't know all the background behind it. But basically, this is spun rock. And it's very soft and pliable. Um, good air gets through this because, again, the roots need air, as, as we've talked about many times. So the air gets through this. It does hold some moisture. Um, and so you start your seeds in this. And then what's really nice is they fit right into these little net cups. And so when your seeds are ready, you put it in the net cup and you can put it right into your planter. Um, also, you can break this apart if you have a, a pre-existing plant that you want to transfer into a hydroponic system. And I'll show you how to do that, but basically you can use this stuff to help support the stem. The second type of stuff that we use a lot is um, actually coconut fiber. And this is just what it sounds like, it's coconut fiber. In the coconut industry, there's a lot of scrap leftover husks and stuff when they're processing coconut. And they take this leftover material, grind it up, and make it into these blocks for use in hydroponic systems. And this happens to be 100% um, organic growing medium, organic coconut. So I'm going to show you how to use this. But this is a really great thing if you need a system that, um, if you have plants that need a little extra moisture, because coconut fiber will hold that moisture. So if you have a Dutch bucket system and you're not running it constantly, you need a little extra moisture in there just to keep the roots from drying out in between feedings, then coconut fiber is great for that. And I'm going to show you how to use it. Last and, and not least is um, clay pebbles. I love clay pebbles. I use them everywhere. The nice thing about clay pebbles is they are so versatile. You can use them in cups. You can use them around plants just to support them in NFS systems, um, in aquaponic systems. They float, which is really nice. So you can put them in any kind of deep water system. And the nice thing about these is they're totally and completely reusable. You can buy this bag and it will last you for years and years because anytime you want to switch plants, switch systems, just wash these off. Um, you can sterilize them, but really just rinsing them with water. And you can use them in your next system. So one bag will last you a lifetime. So let's go over to the sink and I'll show you a little bit of prep work on each one of these things to get started. So we came over here to the sink, and the first thing we're going to do is prepare some rock wool. So I took the rock wool out of the package, and you can see what I mean here. Um, it breaks apart very easily. You can see the little hole that's kind of pre-done in that, and that little hole is perfect for just poking a seed in. Um, so these are really great for starting seeds, but they're not ready for seeds until you do a little preparation. And all you really want to do is you just want to give them a little rinse. Um, they're fiber, so they tend to pick up dust or whatever from manufacturing. So it's always good just to give them a quick little rinse off. And then, since we talk about pH, and I will do a video on pH, but for now, just know that the pH, as we've talked about before, on a plant should be somewhere in the 6.0 range, 6.5. These tend to be really high in pH. doesn't really do any harm to soak them overnight, so I think it's a good practice to get a little tub of water and soak your rock wool overnight, just enough to cover it. And I always put a little bit of lemon juice, just normal, everyday lemon juice, will lower the pH. So I put a, just a few drops of lemon juice in there, stir it around, and I just let the this, um, rock wool soak overnight, and then it will be perfect for your plants in the morning. And do this every time you get new rock wool. Um, whether it's for seeds or whether it's for transplanting regular plants, you know, from soil or just whatever you're going to use rock wool. Just give it a quick rinse, drop it in the 
water and lemon solution. And then in the morning, I know you all have pH testers, um, use your fish tank tester just to test, test the water. And if it's high or low, we can adjust it from there. Lemon juice will bring it down. Um, something like um, baking soda will bring it up. So you just wanna make sure before you start that your rock wall is around 6.0 for pH. And so in the morning, we should be able to test this and have our rock wall ready to plant some seeds. Okay, next we're gonna look at some coconut fiber. So I took the coconut fiber out of the package and it's hard as a rock. And this is just basically how it comes, which is great. This is gonna expand, this little brick here, um, it's gonna to expand to fill about two gallons of stuff. So the instructions are on the package, but this is pretty um, simple to do also. And again, obviously preparation. You wanna just fill, you can fill that same little tub. Fill up the tub and just literally soak it in water overnight. And as it soaks, it's gonna absorb water and it'll be really easy. Right now, I could not break this apart. It's just hard as a rock. But in the morning, um, after being soaked, you know, just overnight, maybe for 24 hours would be good. Um, this little brick will totally fill this pan and you actually might wanna break it up at that point and put it in another five gallon bucket or another two gallon bucket to give it some more room. You can see right now it's already starting to break apart and really it's just fiber. So we're gonna let that soak overnight and I'll show you what it looks like in the morning. Okay, so as it turns out, I went um, into the other room to grab the balls and I came back maybe two minutes later and if you can see, the coconut fiber is already expanding. This is just what it does on its own. Um, so it's very much expanded out of that little bucket. Um, so I will go get a five gallon bucket or a two gallon bucket to put it in. But basically the coconut fiber expands, as you can see, a great deal. And it's really just chopped up coconut. It, I mean, coconut husks and stuff. It's just little fibers. Um, so, but I thought as long as the coconut fiber seems like it really wants to get some action, I thought it would be a good opportunity to do some planting. So I'm going to put this aside for a moment here and show you how I prepare the balls. Now, um, the clay balls do need some preparation. Not much. Um, like I said, they're great because they last forever. Um, but when they come from in the bag, they get really dusty. So what you want to do, what I typically do, is I just grab some out of the bag, and I actually like to use old pots because they make great strainers. Um, and I just basically rinse off the, you can see the black water coming out of the bottom. Hopefully you can see that. It's uh, quite filthy. And that's just the dust from the, um, from the clay and that's all it truly is it's just clay dust so you just want to give it a good rinse and as soon as the water starts coming through clear and clean then that's it your clay balls are ready to plant now because our coconut fiber seems anxious to get going i thought we'd take an opportunity i have a plant that i need to transplant so i'll show you what to do um i just have a regular old garden pot here i'm going to put this in my hydroponic um, dutch bucket system so first thing as I often say, we need to make sure that our pumps are going to be um, safe. So I have just household screening that I just cut a little piece of screen. Just put that in the bottom and that will keep the fibers from going through and um, wrecking our pump. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with some clean balls. We just did these, rinse these off. Just put a little layer of clean balls um, on the bottom. And now, and this is really, it's not much of a science it's more of an art so I have a, another thing of balls here that I had already rinsed off and I'm just going to take some coconut fiber a few handfuls and I'm just going to put it in and then add a little water my off here. add a little water and really just mix it around a little bit And so what this is going to do, it's going to, I don't like to run my Dutch bucket system 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I think it's a waste of energy. So what I like to do is put it on for like an hour a day. And in the meantime, the plants do like to stay moist. So what I do is I'll take some of this mixed stuff and put it right on top of the clean balls. And then...
I have this plant that really doesn't like to be in this pot, so I'm going to transplant it. And this is just in a little cup, and you can see the roots here are a little squashed in. But I'm going to take this plant and I'm going to put it into this system. So just like you would any plant, you put it in the center. And then I'm going to take some of the mixture and I'm just going to go around with it. And now we have it ready for the Dutch bucket system. Okay, so thanks so much for joining us. I'm going to put our plant on our little Dutch bucket system. We have the water coming in, the drain hole going out, and now that we have the coconut fiber in there, that plant would be really happy. Um, so if you have any questions, comments, please let me know. Um, check out my blog at duckygrows.com. And um, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. We'll talk about how to take a plant from... Um, you buy a store bought plant, like an herb or something at the supermarket, and you want to put it in a hydroponic system. I'll show you an easy way to do that. Thanks so much. Have a great afternoon.